No, my hooky, my welcome back into the breakdown. Well, we absolutely love this man on the show. And once again, the All Blacks forwards coach joins us on the program. Jason Ryan, we welcome you into the breakdown. Thank you for joining us. The guys have had their say on the derby last night. For you, as an All Blacks coach, what are you looking for when two New Zealand sides go head to head? What do you take out of that game? Yeah, even guys, great to be on. Um, look, I thought it was a, definitely a very physical contest, um, especially early on. The game sort of opened up a little bit towards the end, but I guess for us, uh, to answer your question, what we look for, sort of we've all got jobs each uh, for each game, and I'm big on looking at the forwards, how quickly they're, they're getting off the ground at different stages during the game, and then we might have a wee project at halftime where we say, righto, what, what are your messages, boys, in each area? So we, you know, we're there and we're working and having a good look at different momentum shifts, but definitely enjoyed the, the spectacle. Jay, I've got to ask you, there's been a number of guys already this season who have pulled up lane. You, you lost Fletcher Newell early. Um, Nepo Lalala has gone down as well. Any concerns? You're only five weeks away from announcing the first squad for 2023. Any concerns, particularly up front? Yeah, look, I think, you know, the injuries, it, it started definitely with a hell of a bang, didn't it, in the, in the early stages. But there is some boys starting to come back, I think. Yeah, with Neeps, we're pretty hopeful that we'll see him in, in the final series. Obviously which will set him up to be available for selection of the Rugby Championship. Uh, Fletcher Newell, he's not going to be available for the Rugby Championship, but he, he's still a chance uh, long-term down the track. So for those two guys, we're, we're pretty hopeful. But, yeah, we, we don't want any more, uh, Goldie. <laughs> Jase, I know you've been overseas just testing out that, uh, that French wine, so I hope you've, hope you've found a good one for the World Cup. But on a serious note... Um, from a forward pack point of view, you've been over there to study Ireland again and France. I mean, what are you seeing with your eyes? Yeah, look, I think they're um, really running their games well. I think they, they in the north, they really they know how to handle um, game understanding and game management in big moments, you know, and you can sort of feel the crowd, how the momentum can change so quickly. So... That was a big one for me of what, what I was looking at, um, sort of game-wise, JK. But technically, you know, I just had a little bit of a project around just line-out formations and, and how teams are defending differently um, and, and and sort of the ability to change late. Um, so making sure that any pre-call stuff and that sort of thing we're, we're on top of. But definitely the rugby, there were some nice tries uh, scored on the Six Nations and, you know, really enjoyed it as a spectacle, to be fair. Jase, I want to ask on a personal level, because this is different for you. You know, usually you're in, in amongst it right now with, you know, with Super Rugby and, and things like that. Are you, are you itching to get out there and sort of, you know, get amongst the boys and sort of um, and, and try a few things? How, how has it been for yourself personally? Yeah, look, I've always, it's, a, it's an interesting one. I was, it was something that I was a little bit concerned about myself, to be honest, Mills, being, you know, straight into campaigns pre-season and then right through to sort of June. But look, I've I've been uh, there's been plenty of work on mate. I've been around all the super clubs, um, which has been really enjoyable. And I talk to most of the Fords coaches every every week, every couple of weeks. And you know anything that I can help with, I review every single game as if it was a test match for our Ford pack, and 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 have my clips ready as if I was going to present. So I've got to stay sharp on that side of things. But I've also been out coaching um, around the traps with some clubs and. Um, and a few schools and that sort of thing. So you got to stay sharp. You can't um, you can't get comfy and you know rely that you can just roll in and be ready because I've got to be sharp at the, at the right time. Speaking of being comfortable, Ian Foster was on the show a few weeks ago and he mentioned he expected a lift from some of the players in New Zealand in terms of their form and the way they are playing. Have you seen that shift as a group? Yeah, I think I think we in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to answer that. Goldie is the. You know the the climb um, in the next you know two or three rounds for those those final spots we'll see an increase in intensity in the games and that's when you sort of you know it's nothing like a test match um, you know as you know I think sometimes it can be a little bit of a loose word that it's I was up there with a test match but it really is it's not because it's not two countries going head to head but what I what I do like is I think Super Rugby as a spectacle. I think it's I think it's right on song. You know, we've had two sellout crowds. I think it is in round robin games in the last three or four weeks, and and I think that this is the time of year and in those finals where we're really starting to have a look at players. On Saturday when we met in Christchurch, we had our first crack at the team, and 
we all had a good hearty discussion, which was really enjoyable. But um, you know, it was good to have some debate. That's for sure. Jace, besides getting rid of the backs, which most forwards would like to do, um, where would you like to see the game go from an innovation point of view to keep the speed, um, you know, the speed and the game time up? Yeah, it's a great question, JK. Look, I honestly think that it's something that's always evolving. I know there's been a little bit of bad press and, and that lately around it, but look, I, I think I think the communication with the referees has, has never been better. I think with every super club having a referee in their camp every week is helping the game and it's helping the the running of the game for the better. And especially around the scrum resets, like they're actually down. Um, they're at a great, they're in a great spot. We've seen some good trends there. So that helps the game. I think, you know, around the mauling side of it, I've sort of said this before um, a couple of times, but if you've got a six-man line out, just keep six men in there and instead of piling another five in, look, we've all done it because the law allows it. But I think that would tidy it up uh, quite nicely. But I think overall, I think there is some good trends actually happening, JK. I'm not sure that answered your question or not, but I think we're I think we're on track with the conversations that are going on. Jay, so I want to ask about the rolling wall because I know you hate a rolling wall, mate. Um, <laughs> but the innovation around that, have you seen much, um, you know, while, whilst you've been over in France, sort of looking at the other teams? Oh, look, I, th I think teams are getting better defensively, definitely. I think that, you know, teams are defending um, in the air really well, air pressure, and then they've got the ground pressure where they stay down. It's a good... Um, th there's good parts of that that teams are, are being able to have their main system but really change really late, which I'm liking. But I think that, yeah, there's some definitely some good little variations. Uh, you mentioned France. I think definitely around what they're doing, there's some good little um, things that we're going to be have to be on top of, Mills, uh, to make sure we can nullify that. In your opinion, Jace, what's it going to take to win the World Cup? Uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of uh, trust in what we're doing. Um, I think that we need to get on the plane with everyone that's trusted to do a job, to get around the coaching team, to make sure the players trust each other and make sure that our game is always evolving. I think that to win World Cups... The team that evolves the most during the tournament will usually um, go on and hold the trophy from from what I've seen. Um, obviously, injuries injury-free would be nice, but we know that tradition tells us there will be dings. So we've got to have the next man in, ready to go, and, and just do the simple things really well over and over again and then keep getting better at them. Jace, you're such an asset to New Zealand rugby. Thank you so much for coming on The Breakdown. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks. Nice to join you. I'll just get back to getting more on Mother's Day cooking already, you know, like it's three course meal I've got ready. No, Good man. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the mums. See you guys.